Hello, I'm Andy and this is Edwin and we're here to tell you how to make a game that looks a bit like this. So in the Bible, in Luke's Gospel, after the, uh, we learn about how Jesus rose from the dead, there's a story about two of Jesus's friends who are walking from Jerusalem to a place called Emmaus. And they walk along the road and they're sad because they don't realise that Jesus has risen from the dead. So uh, somebody comes alongside them and it's Jesus, but they don't know it's Jesus. And he starts to explain to them why what's happened and how you, if you read the Old Testament correctly, the, the first bit of the Bible, you'll understand why these things had to happen. And then they get to their home in Emmaus, they invite him in, he breaks bread and then he disappears from their sight. So they've seen the risen Jesus. So what we wanted to do was make a game that sort of helps us to tell that story of how looking through the Old Testament, the books of the Old Testament in the Bible, can help us to get to Emmaus and break bread. So what you're going to need is a piece of card, like an, old, an old piece of package of more package will do if you if you yeah can't find something you like that board, that works fine you need some colored paper colored paper different colors uh, you don't need many just a couple okay some scissors ruler pencil pen and a couple of figures or, or just counters and a dice yep to play the game plus maybe a glue stick or possibly sellotape Yep. If you have it. Okay, so what you're going to do first is draw a big square on your cardboard. Now, the way we've done this, there's 39 books in the Old Testament, and we've got two different examples of this game. So we created uh, uh, 49 squares. Seven by seven grid, seven along, seven up. In this version, each square is three centimeters by three centimeters. You can make them bigger. You can if you make them smaller if you want, you can make them how you wish. If they're smaller, you might struggle to write on. But anyway, and the game is a bit like snakes and ladders. So if you if you look at this here, you can see that there's a, a grid drawn on it. You just sort of measure it out like that. You can mark off after you've drawn a line. Mark off at three centimeter intervals. So you can create a grid like has been done on here. Then you need some small bits of colored paper. So what you can do is you can get a piece of paper and then you just get a ruler and you make them roughly a size that will fit inside these three by, centimeter, three, by three centimeter squares. And you need 49 of those precisely. What you're going to do, you're going to get a piece of paper like so, you're going to cut them out. And then what you do is you need to write some labels on them. OK, now there are two ways of doing this. One is to carefully measure out your strips of paper. Or the other way is just to kind of make them roughly the right size and you can just rip them up yeah. like so. You just look at the squares like that and get a rough estimate and you can get squares that are about right without measuring and worrying too much. So then, what you need is 39 squares of different colours. 49. 39 squares of different oh, colours. Right. Or, uh, for the books of the Bible, uh, the books of the Old Testament, or because there are three sets of books where there's two books with the same name, you can do 36 if you want by putting uh, 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel together. We've got two different variations of the game. And then you want one specific colour to fill all of the other squares. Uh, in this version of the game, the colour with the squares that do things a bit like snakes and ladders are green. In this version, they are light pink, as you can see. OK, so you write out the books of the, the Old Testament. Um, you'll probably need to abbreviate three or four letters. That's quite normal. Uh, in this version, they're arranged randomly. And in this version, they're in the order that they appear in the Bible. You can do it either way. Um, so 
uh, you can blue tack them on as we have here to fill the squares or you can use a glue stick or potentially sellotape if you have it or yeah alternatively if you just lay them out you may be able to just stretch sticks and strips sellotape and over. we've got blue tack here and in this version we've covered some of it with big chunks of green just to make life a bit easier okay so we lay those Bible books onto there. They've got an abbreviation. And then you might see some a bit like this. That's a drawing of a loaf of bread. That's because my son is good at drawing. I'm not. In my version, it just says bread. So part of the point of the game is that you need to pick up some bread on the way to Emmaus. So you need to land on one of these bread squares. And up here, there's a square that says if you've got to this point and you haven't got bread, you haven't landed on bread yet, you need to go to Ezra, which is all the way down here. So some of the other things that you could do, we picked out some stories from the Old Testament. Uh, so for instance, we thought about Jonah. If you, And there's a square that says Swallowed by a fish, miss a turn. Yep. There's also um, different variants such as um, in the lion's den, you need to play diff a certain number or you need to... Um, what's that say? So in the lion's den, pray for strength or throw a six. Throw a six. So there's uh, different ways that you can manage uh, such squares. There's also um, certain uh, squares that obviously say bread so these are the ones that you will have to go around and pick up and there's some that will just simply say go straight to somewhere with no requirements okay so you lay your game out you scatter your special squares where you either pick up bread or you can do something an action for instance here it's reciting a bible verse or throwing a six or you get stuck there swallowed by a fish miss a turn here, you lay those action squares out across the piece, and then you play. So to play, you need either some little figures or like potentially that. you could use counters. Such counters, as these. these bits of broken Sabutio man, which also work. And then just like in Snakes and Ladders, you throw to start a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on Nehemiah. And then I roll. A two. I am an exodus. Okay, we'll have, just have another throw here. One, two, three. I've made it to Zephaniah. What are you going to do, Edwin? And I will roll, and I also get a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've made it to Judges. Okay, so we've not encountered any special squares yet, but you get the idea. It's a fairly simple game to understand. It's quite fun to play, and it's quite simple to make as well. OK, and then at the end, you have to land on the Emmaus Square where Jesus breaks bread. So at that moment, you might want to get a slice of toast or a bit of buttered bread. And that's the game. Mm -hmm.